I want to get to your health check this morning. Look, you've probably heard that COVID-19 is quite contagious, but how does it actually spread through your body? Well, researchers have found it could be pretty sneaky. You've seen pictures of the coronavirus, but what really makes this spiky ball tick? It's too tiny to see with the naked eye, so you have to think small. Picture just one strand of hair and stretch it out. Imagine laying a dozen cells across that strand of hair. That's about how big some of your lung cells are. Next to a human lung cell, the coronavirus is tiny, a hundredth of the width. The potent stuff is even smaller, the virus's guts, a strand of something called RNA. Similar to our own DNA, this is genetic code, instructions for making copies of the virus. But to do that, the virus needs something it doesn't have, a cell. So it evolved a clever way to get inside yours. The key is the outside envelope and the crown of the spikes that gives coronavirus its name. It's not decorative. This is an elaborate disguise, a fraud the virus uses to trick its way in. You can think of your cell like a factory surrounded by a fortress wall. The factory inside makes stuff your body needs and all over the outer walls are special doors. Each door finds and pulls in specific stuff the factory needs. The virus uses one door in particular, the ACE2 receptor, which grabs onto proteins and brings some of them into the cell. The spike on the coronavirus looks like the real deal, but it's a Trojan horse. Once the receptor grabs the spike, the virus can fuse with your cell's outer wall, then slip through it almost like a ghost. Inside the human cell, the virus starts uncoating, releasing its RNA. This starts a process that ends up using parts of the factory in your cell to make new copies of the virus and more copies and more copies. Those new copies start leaving the cell and can travel to other parts of your body to infect more. Scientists are studying the details of every step of the virus's life cycle. If we can find a way to interrupt any part of that cycle, it could lead to a new treatment and stop or slow down the spread.